everybody. I'm going to show you how to make fillied up eggplant boats. I'm going to first show you what our ingredients are. I have the stove going with two pounds of Italian sausage that I have taken out of the casing and just crumbled up like ground, you know, ground sausage. You can buy it in the package or you can buy it in the tube. I've got two pounds of sausage already going. I've taken my eggplant, sliced it in half, got all of the stuffing out we have here, cubed it up. We have eight ounces of fresh mushrooms that I've sliced. We have two handfuls, which is about a cup and a half of fresh chopped spinach. We have, of course, eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese that I've got coming to room temperature. We have three quarters cups of Italian breadcrumbs. We have one cup of Kraft Italian blend shredded cheese, olive oil, salt and pepper, Kraft Parmesan cheese. Today we're going to use a little mini wheel noodle. I'm only going to use a cup of those depending on how you like your noodle to meat ratio. Depends on how many noodles you want to incorporate. And then we have some dried basil and oregano. And we have a 28 ounce can of diced, petite diced tomatoes. And I have another 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes underneath of the eggplant boats that we're going to stuff and put in the oven. So we're going to brown off our meat and I'll come back and show you when we add everything. Our Italian sausage is browning up nicely. We're going to go ahead and add in our vegetables into the pan. Whoops, lost one. Go ahead and add that in. We're going to let these get nice and tender. And right on top of that, we'll go ahead and put this can of undrained tomatoes. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, mama mia. We're going to go ahead and add in the basil and the oregano and a little salt and pepper. We'll taste it once it cooks down for a little bit and then see about adding some more. So once this simmers down, we'll come back. Put my noodles in. We're going to go ahead and let those cook um, about seven minutes until they're al dente because we're going to bake them in the oven as well. And then we'll drain them off and set them aside. Now that all of our vegetables are tenderized and most of, some of the juice has been absorbed, we're going to add in two teaspoons of garlic powder. So we'll go ahead and add that in along with our eight ounce soft Philadelphia cream cheese. Now go ahead and go ahead and add in the one cup of shredded cheese and our three quarters cups of breadcrumbs. We're gonna mix all this in. We're gonna go ahead and toss our pasta in. As soon as our filling is incorporated, I'm gonna show you how to fill up our eggplant boat. I'm gonna show you how to fill up our eggplant. We're gonna stuff them nice and full and repeat until you get all your eggplant stuffed. Just like so. We're going to put them on our baking dish. We have our fillied up eggplant boats all packed up with Philadelphia cream cheese and we're going to add some Kraft Parmesan cheese on top before we bake them. We have our oven preheated to 375 degrees and we're going to bake them until the eggplant is nice and tender. It's been 30 minutes. Our eggplant is done. We're going to pull this out carefully. The eggplant's nice and roasted. The Philadelphia cream cheese has made my filling so nice and thick. We're going to sneak underneath for a taste. Oh, look at the mushrooms and the... Mmm. 
It's delicious. Philadelphia cream cheese really holds the filling together and it's extra creamy. I'm going to show you how to plate this up. We're just going to garnish up our fillied up eggplant with a little dried parsley. We're going to serve it with some Italian bread. Our fillied up eggplant. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Philadelphia cream cheese. And see you next week for dessert.